Hello, I'm pianist composer Matthew Shipp, and this is altoist composer Darius Jones. And we have a duo together um, that we've had for a couple years um, based on kind of art songs that we compose in the moment. And um, we have our own specific methodology that we use to do that, and we're here today to share some of our ideas with you. One of the things that I've uh, learned through the process of working uh, with Matthew Ship in this context is that improvisation is composition. Um, and these two worlds uh, work together, actually. And so when we're playing, like say for instance, what we just played, uh, some really basic musical things are happening. The most important thing that's happening First, I would say, is that we're listening to one another. Wouldn't you say that? I have no choice. This is an environment. We're occupying the environment together. And um, we are trying to cohere, you know, create a coherent structure in, in real time. So I have to go off what else is in the environment. I mean, I have no choice. Yes, and I feel the same way. And so what I tried from my perspective, being uh, a horn player, uh, is I try to position myself in a way that makes sense in the context of whatever is happening musically. So for our particular duo, what I try to do is be more of the singer. So I'm playing a lot of times with space and with, uh, and with a more lyrical and a vocal quality. When Darius and I first started doing duos together, um, I've done a lot of duos with a lot of different sax players and Darius kind of came up with the idea because in free jazz there's a thing called extended technique where, you know, say a, a group might play a, a half hour piece and, um, and he came up with the idea of doing a lot of really short pieces like kind of art songs. And so when we do this live, we basically, there's an initial attack and we both kind of had to, um, initially when we started playing together, we kind of had to key in on a certain element that presents itself and then try to structure a piece around that. So the flow of the piece happens after some initial attack. They're usually, especially within a long performance, the, the longer we play, we get more in tune with what the other guy is going to do. So sometimes eerily within an hour performance, our initial attack on maybe say the sixth or seventh piece is the exact same thing. I don't know how that happens, but it does. And we key in on whatever that element, and, and in that section, we build variations off of that. So that's a within the um, premise of what he was talking about, listening to each other, and B, allowing intuition to take its, its, do its thing, and then C, there is some type of conscious element of isolating a certain event and building something off of that. One of the reasons why I wanted to do smaller pieces rather than larger pieces was to deal with the beginning. I feel that a lot of times within the context of more open playing, uh, a lot of times the beginning is the amorphous kind of part that we are some, we kind of rumble and we kind of play in a, such a way that we're not, it's kind of murky. And I think what Matthew's talking about in relation to what we do is that we actually think about that more. And so, and then, so we attack and then we develop. And usually the endings are the things that are the most interesting and mysterious places, I, don't, I, I think. Well, tr yeah, the transitions. Um, and the endings, we never know where we're going to get to. And that's kind of the fun of this. Yeah, and that's the, the fun part.